Nelson Mandela, uh, he talked about the philosophy of Ubuntu. Now, Ubuntu means I am who I am through others. A person with Ubuntu is open and available to others, does not feel threatened by the fact that someone else may be um, more senior than them or better at something. Each person has their own integral role to play within the community and, and each person brings to the whole, I am who I am through you. Thank you, Aviva, for coming here. Thank you for uh, having me. It was really nice to have you here and have this amazing drum session with you. Uh, first of all, how did you come up with the idea of having a drum cafe and playing the drums? So it wasn't my idea. It was started by a man called Warren Lieberman mm -hmm. in South Africa um, in about 1996-97 when uh, the end of apartheid and they were bringing the disenfranchised communities into the business sector and uh, actually he had a, a love for drums and every Wednesday people would come to his house and drum and, and after a while there were like 200 people coming to his house to drum and so he moved it and created a little place called the Drum Cafe. After uh, Nelson Mandela became the president he created this method of interactive drumming for the corporate community whereby we would go in and uh, unite the cultures and prepare them for training. And it became so successful in South Africa that it then soon spread around the world and now we have 30 offices around the world. Wow. So in, in your opinion, do you think that this playing drums together can help to resolve conflicts and um, go more towards peace? Well, we hope so, and that's why we've brought it to Israel, because we realize that what we have is a vehicle for unity. The interactive drumming program, that's what it does. It brings people together. It creates a focused, receptive group of people who feel good about themselves and about each other. So we figured that if we bring it to Israel, we can begin to uh, bring people together through a different modality, not through speaking so much, but through playing drums, creating an environment where, where only collaboration can thrive, creating a culture of collaboration. Nelson Mandela brought this philosophy of Ubuntu really to South Africa and to the transformation in South Africa from conflict to mm. resolution and that's what he believed in he believed like leon charney in negotiation rather than violence he believed in negotiation leading to conflict resolution and that's what we were doing here today we were essentially negotiating around the main vision around a base beat negotiating with conflicting opposing rhythms how we can bring them together lock them into phase to create something greater than and different from and more beautiful than the sum of each part. Mm -hmm. Is this, would you say, this session, this drum session, is meant for people who are already more open-minded towards peace or for people who you want to evoke this in them, you want to evoke the feelings, like you said, of um, renewing energy and like open-mindedness? Would you say the audience is more like that? This interactive drumming experience is for everybody and anybody from you know we do it with groups of 10 people to 10,000 people and nobody needs to have any experience and you don't need to come with any pre-existing story uh, all we do is very simple we make people feel connected and we make them feel like they want to collaborate with each other we make them feel like they um, they they feel inspired, uplifted, inspired to do something. And that's up to them, what they do, whether they're five years old or 95 years old. Within minutes, as you can see, we have people drumming together in complete unison. And from that point on, they, you know, they walk into a room, pick up a drum, do something they've never done before, really. And within minutes, as a, as a group, the risk has paid off. Mm -hmm. 
And so what you have there is a group who are no longer risk averse, who are feeling connected. I am who I am through you. That's the whole philosophy of Ubuntu there. Practically, I'm drumming on rhythm because you're drumming on rhythm and we're doing it together. So, you know, it's uh, so much at the Chinese Centre is about conflict resolution. And thanks to the Chinese Centre, please, for having this event. How did this uh, workshop, the drumming workshop, make you feel in comparison to how you felt before? Well, for me, all of it was a peak because it was always very energetic and very noisy. But I think the peak was the last part, the part where they started singing and we kind of like moved on with them. We kind of made a few sounds when they were doing it. However, we also participated in our own way, even though we didn't have a coordinated rhythm. We were all just banging on the drum and feeling, even though it should have been noisy, it still was a harmony. It still was some sort of unity between us. And I think the the most interesting part was uh, the rumble at the end where we all just beat really, really fast and we're like, yes, the feeling of achievement was, it was absolutely amazing and we were all so happy. <laughs>